Anne Maselli Teed at the Magic Mud Pie Studio. Today we're going to be working with clay, a great medium for kids to explore, use their imagination, become creative artists. A wet clay comes in many different forms. You have air dry foam clays right at your craft store. You have wet clay that has to be fired. All different kinds of clay. You have plastic polymer clays that you can use and work very small. Go to a craft store, go to your art store, and uh, look at the different possibilities of all the different materials. I have some regular wet clay that has to be fired. I'm going to show you how to make a great sea creature today. Lots of fun with little hands. Kids like to pound and squish. They like to figure out what this material can do. They might break off a lot of pieces. They might roll it and make it little snakes. Today, we're going to be starting with a ball of clay. Have them roll it, have them feel it. See how round they can get it. And now, from this, we're going to make a big coil. I'm going to roll it down on my paper. So it starts looking like a big rolled coil. Then I ask them to roll the edges so it becomes skinnier at the edges. Both sides, they can do it with their hands or one side at a time. And our sea creature gets to turn the shape of an S. So all of a sudden we have a seahorse coming out of our rolled coil. All right, And children love to squeeze so we make a spine. Lots of fun. Got my seahorse nose here. Now the different materials, the different tools that we can use, we can use a skewer or a popsicle stick or a plastic knife. We can make an eye. And we can also make different textures. Right drawing right on it. Kids come up with such great ideas with this. They might even give their sea creature a name. When it dries, it can be painted, sparkles can be glued on, a bead can be put in the eye. I'm going to give my guy a little smile. I'm going to name him Herman. And here we have a sea creature made out of clay. <laughs>